Who's ready to get legal? Yeah. It's time for the doctor's court, which is now in session. A New York City man is suing after a trip to the batting cage reportedly left him with an injured testicle. Here we go again. <laughs> uh, the the testicuzzi did not fix he, the problem, you know so. He, I bet you he would have felt better with the testicuzzi afterwards. With some cool water in there? The bubbles. Yeah. Oh, but we're off base. What happened here? The 52-year-old says the pitching machine's first ball hit him in the thigh and then the left testicle, after which he was rushed to the ER in extreme pain with what he said was bruising and internal bleeding. We don't know exactly what happened here, but he's a lawyer. He's That's suing, a surprise, suing for $100,000. He said on a scale of one to 10, his pain was a billion. <laughs> he's on Oxycontin for That's seven a, days. That's a, what it you, hurts. A, it I, hurts a lot. I imagine. So I, I, if a fastball coming right in there, I remember in front it, of it hurts when I was yeah. coaching my son in little league, and I used to throw batting practice to the kids, and <laughs> I went out there, and somebody hit a line drive, caught me right there, Ouch. and I went down like ah in front of all the parents and the kids and. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> and I went home and used the testicles. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm all better. But you're assuming the risk when you get in a batting cage. There is a theoretical possibility that the machine wasn't operating correctly. Right. Maybe the balls were coming in a little too inside or a little low. But you, I mean, I would agree with you. I think you're assuming some bit of risk when you walk into a batting cage. I've always felt when you go into a batting cage that you've got to be on your toes, quite literally, because yeah, you're, I mean, those balls are coming in hot and heavy, and it is a little bit, you got to be aware. And so the takeaway here is yeah. when you have projectile objects coming at you in that area, you got to protect the jewels, those family jewels. You got two of them. Yeah. You know, you take care of them. That's why I always, like even hosting this show, I wear a cup. <laughs> is, that, never, is, is that true? It's not, it's not that dangerous a show, dude. I'm happy to report that I've never been getting the vagina. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dr. Nita, I mean, that is. Have you ever. Have you, good, hey, Dr. Good, Nita, have you ever seen. Good news. Have you ever been around a, a man when he gets hit in the testicles and seen the response? Yeah. I was going to say, you could try that out on Drew. <laughs> <laughs> so, in this case, I think the only appropriate ruling is that. Yeah, probably the, uh, the this adventure place will be found negligent if the machines were found to be inoperative, but I, I'm not awarding $100,000. Um, How much can he get? What's a jewel worth, Drew? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's not losing his jewels. He got it's injured. Fine, he's yeah. going to be fine. He's so, going to be so fine you going judgment. down. It's your judgment. Well, pay all the medical bills. There is some pain and suffering. I'd... What do you want to give him? You're not giving him 100000 What do you give no. him? Five thousand. I hear ten. Yeah, I, 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 Come on, you're the judge, okay, buddy. I'll go with ten. All right, case closed.